Gary Orton's funny too. That's yeah. my guy. That's the first person that ever gave me a chance. It had to be a white boy. Wow, really? Yeah, Gary Orton's the first person that ever let me feature in a comedy club like a real comedian. Wow. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Fluke, the, the comedy thing, I'll I jump into that. Did you did you see that coming or did y'all talk about it? Or cause we he talked about it. Y'all talked in about 01. it. In oh, so he always wanted to do comedy. I met when I met him, I met him in Magic City, but I met him in the comedy club. I got to know him in the co comedy he club. He was coming on his own. He him just and checking him, it out. Him and Tamika stayed in the comedy. There was a fixture. They were furniture in there. Mm. He liked the comedy club. He, he just liked had a the nip. comedy. He had the night with Lil Duval tripping on Tuesday. I Brian met, also tripping on Tuesday. Wow. I met him with Lil Duval. When I told him, yeah, I met him, Lil Duval say, hey, T.I., somebody want to call. I took a picture with him because I seen the nigga on Comic View or mm. something. You know, I seen yeah. him on BET. Yeah. And I was like, damn, Lil Duval. You know, mm -hmm. and I was like, I had already took pictures with T.I. And I was like, man, Lil Duval, let's take a picture. Oh. And he hollered at T.I., say, look, nigga, I'm famous. Somebody want to take a picture with me. <laughs> he had dreads in the yeah. damn head. Yeah. We was at the Caesars Palace. I'll never forget that. Yeah. I was like, this nigga, be, he didn't know nobody at that time. Oh four, five, oh six, oh seven. Yeah, or yeah, something. yeah. He didn't know nobody. I'm telling you, it, he was new. Who that Duval? Yeah, no, he, he was, was brand new. He was famous. He was famous. He was famous. That's why you knew him. <laughs> yeah, he, he was, was famous. famous. He just right. was cracking a joke with Tip. Oh yeah. I got to know Duval in 01. He was so he famous. was already famous. He Duval just going on TV. Ain't me. He ain't me. I'm the one that ain't camera ready. He ready. <laughs> I've been on more shows than Duval. What, so he was just messing with Ti. No, I was messing with Ti too. I was in the videos too. I'm telling you, Duval. Been famous since the first time he ever went on an open mic stage. Everybody from the open mic went home and told everybody in, in this spread because I started on one and my classmates know who Duval was. That's wow. why. And I used to be with Duval. Well, I was one of his first. This writers. was like 2008 when I first he was met. Him. Super famous and probably yeah. rich. And I told he was like, man, I'm famous too because I he guess because I was messing with Tip then because I'm like, what was, the hell is he, he talking was, about? He was super famous and probably rich. I bet you had a big chain on and I a know, nice I got, car. I got the picture somewhere. I, I bet you had nice diamonds. And at the house, the one I it used to be probably there. Yeah, I, don't, mm -hmm. I, I, I bet you had nice diamonds. Duval has been. Famous since I started. I started in July of 01. People were taking pictures with him then. So was wow. he good to you when you seen him stand up on that stage? You knew he was good. I knew he was a star. First time I ever seen Duval, I knew he was a star. That bring me to something. Like, I heard you say that you don't think Tracy Morgan was... Uh, was that, that's me. But shit, fuck that. I mean, shit, I don't think... That's just Daniel your opinion. Daniel Bassett is pretty. I think that, she look like a horse. <laughs> what the fuck they got to do with the brain? So, that's just so my opinion. Your opinion. Me. And yes, I always thought that. But what that ain't nothing. What he's not funny? I always thought he's Tracy just, Morgan wasn't that funny back then. Did you okay. ever see him do stand-up? Yes. I've always thought he wasn't that funny. That's all. But everybody else loved him. No, everybody, no, everybody in the world. Different. Everybody in the world don't love nobody. <laughs> <You're doing laughs> <something. laughs> I'm saying, I said that on there because I just, that's my assessment that yeah. I didn't think coming up that he was that funny. I always knew he was getting it. I saw him getting to it. And then when you watch Martin, he had a couple of good episodes on that to me, but that's just me. You don't give a fuck about what I think. What about I, I but Kevin Hart the same? He he came up slow but go. He came up good. Kevin but he Hart came. It, it was not like that at first. He even said he started it. what. It, it, uh, don't listen to what they say. <laughs> Kevin was famous back then. When I met Kevin, when we did Bad Boys of Comedy, yeah. when we did Bad Boys of Comedy, we thirty six of us take. In the United States, Puffy picked 36 comedians okay. from around the country. Kevin Hart walking through there like he owned the place back then. Back that then. was in July of 03. We taped that at the Bam Harvard Theater up there in Brooklyn. In 03, Kevin Hart was walking through there like he owned the place. Puffy was in there cussing somebody out. Security had his arm on the door like this. Security was like on the door, leaning on the door. Kevin Hart walked under his arm. Mm -hmm. Damn. That's just what I seen. That has nothing to do with somebody <laughs> told me Kevin walk. I saw him walk under. under I ain't walked under nobody's security arm. <laughs> <laughs> what you about to ask? No, okay. So with comedy, with, um, there's a roadmap to how you do this, right? What you mean? Like, um, I'm new coming into comedy. <laughs> there's a structure. No. There's not no structure. The template is the same template to be a good real estate agent. It's the same thing as to get out here and network and be known and do good business, good product. Remember mm -hmm. I said originality earlier? Right, right. If you mess around and do some original jokes and be and, and talk shit like me, 
You'll fuck around and wind up on Boss Talk top at least. Hey. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Just have some original material. Who has the, out of all of the comedians you've ever watched, who has like the most out of the way comedy that you've ever seen, the most original? Because a lot of people come up with their own original stuff. JB Smooth, I would say. JB Smooth. Wow, shout out. JB Smooth. He's a, he's a bad motherfucker, man. He's one of the most, I'm still thinking as I go, but he's one of the most original. He got a joke about a police in the country with no car and chasing the car with a flashlight. You got to watch him do it. <laughs> He just go. He, he, so I he, need to put him on my list to watch. JB Smooth, Never. yes, man. He was. He's probably laughing at a comedian. I probably laughed at him the hardest. Downtown Tony Brown from Detroit. JB Smooth. He's a comedian that you still your favorite comedian couldn't stand next to him. Really? No, they couldn't. Um, what type of com comedy do you like to watch? Because I know there's everybody does different kinds of comedy. What's like, your like most it. favorite type? I like fast-paced comedy. I, I like stories. I like anything that's original. That's the type right there. That is the type. Yeah, you keep saying that. That's all you need to know because you're going to mess around and be laughing at somebody else's joke and not know it. See, we're yeah. not laughing at nobody else's jokes over here. If you got to do your own jokes, that's what that's mandatory. Because that's, that's your job. You know all of this stuff. When we don't know it, you know it. Yes, yeah, so we're not going to start at what type. We want them to be first is it yours? Mm. Is it your idea? That's for, you know, y'all might say, oh, he was funny, though. <laughs> Man, get out of here. What about Corey Holcomb? Yeah, Corey Holcomb is a good original comedian. He's a bad motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. would love to watch him because I know it's going to be his perspective of how he feel, and he's going to be as clever as he can. He's going to pull it as tight as he can. Who's the funniest female? Some more. I think hands easy, down. Easy, huh? Who is the most funniest white boy? My top white boy is Robert Schimmel, but then you got a uh, Bill Burr, who's a, Robert Schimmel is dead, but Bill Burr is probably number one to me. How you feel about Gary Owens? Gary Owens funny too. That's he my is. guy. That's the first person that ever gave me a chance. I had to be a white boy. Wow, really? Yeah, Gary Owens the first person that ever let me feature in a comedy club like a real comedian. Wow. When did that happen? It happened in um in uh O two, uh. Um, June of 02. June of 02. How did you click up with him? He was just headlining at the comedy club. Oh. And um, I used to just stand in there because I had just moved back to Atlanta in May. And June came. I got the $99 special apartment. So I was just hanging out at the comedy club like, shit, I got to at least do a guest spot or something. So Gary walk in. The white GM named Dave picked him up and brought him in during the daytime. I saw him. I had already been talking to Dave about he needed to let me feature or something. And then Dave was just like, oh my God, I don't have a feature this week. And I was like, I'll feature. And Gary was like, yeah, let this guy feature. He and didn't even know your comedy, none. No, he didn't. He was just, man, yeah. I, just I, giving you a chance. He just said, let this guy feature. And then he, he kind of like paid for my little food all weekend and my little coat, because I ain't drank or nothing. And then we went out to 112 that weekend. He paid for my wings and stuff in there. And then just Gary Owen. You can't say nothing bad Have about you, Gary And Owen. you guys worked together numerous time. times since Gary, then. I featured, I kind of featured for Gary 2012, 13 and stuff like That's that. That's hard, man. Went on the road with him. What comedian ever gave you the best advice ever? Best advice came from um, probably T.K. Kirkland. Mm, what was it? Man, look here. You get you a little credit card. Get you a little hotel card where you go. You can get your hotel for twenty nine dollars, and you gotta get you a bitch that love you. <laughs> you gotta get a bitch that love you that'll take care of you. Get you some insurance because you're gonna need it. Make sure you call these promoters and you be nice and you be on time. You know, you just go. He just go. Man, <laughs> you been living by oh, that? Oh, just like I guess I can see you TK and bump head so many times. He don't know how I feel about it. I bump head with the TK because I'm going bump heads with you probably. But we ain't never gotten to no beef or nothing. Yeah, right. it yeah. was just little small shit right. about that's pink. No, that's Simon. So, <laughs> man, but he, he, he TK. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk.